Do I look? Fantastic. I said, where do I look? Oh, <laughs> but thank <straight>. you. <laughs> straight. <laughs> straight ahead. Where do I look? Fantastic. <laughs> I heard look. You, where do, look, I don't know. Yeah, Whatever. That's okay. Take the compliment. I will. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Three, two. Did I have too much coffee this morning or something? What is going on? It's usually me. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. That's hilarious. Please don't cut any of this out. This like makes everything. You like the beginning where, where we do like the bloopers almost and stuff? <laughs> yes. I know, I do too. I'm always totally unintentional. I know. My mom always gets confused by it too. She's like, it sounds like it's in the middle of the thing. Why is it starting before it starts? I was like, well, that's just, you throw that in there. It's just kind of like a little <laughs> funny beginning. Yes. No, absolutely. Yeah. I like it too. All right. I think we can start try again. Out. Do you need try. help counting? Count. Yes, please. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hand switch. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bright Connections. I'm your host, BK. Joining me, Miss Elizabeth is back. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks. Oh, How are you? Welcome. Oh, I'm great. Absolutely great. <laughs> Always, always, always. Good, good. So today we've got a little bit of different topics, but uh, one of the big things we want to talk about is kind of like the, uh, the holidays, how the holidays all play together and, and hopefully coexist this time of year, you know, from Halloween through the end of the year and everything. So I'm going to touch on that a little bit and then we're going to do, uh, we're going to do another personality kind of quizzes. Uh, I know Brian and I did that a couple weeks ago, actually a while ago, but uh, we enjoyed it. And so we're going to maybe get a little different perspective with a, with a lady doing the, the quiz with me. So see what, see what we come up with. So. Love to share. Kind of interested. <laughs> yeah. They're, pre they're pretty crazy. They're kind of ridiculous, some of them, but. Oh boy. All right. I'm so. in. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Before we get into that, uh, two weeks ago, I had Jake and Erica on with me and we touched on Star Wars, but specifically the Mandalorian. So now it's been a couple weeks later, the Mandalorian has come out. Uh, it has been, you know, it's been released on Disney plus episode by episode. Um, there actually has been two episodes out yet, but we're only going to basically briefly touch on the first episode. I'm not going to get too in depth with it. Just kind of wanted to, we just, we're too excited about it. It's so good. <laughs> And we just couldn't help ourselves not talking about it at least a little bit. So we're going to touch on episode one of The Mandalorian season two. Um, so spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you don't want to hear anything, skip a couple minutes or... Don't watch. <laughs> don't watch, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll, I don't have a hat or something. <laughs> I don't have a hat or something I could put on, but... I'll, I'll, I'll like hold up a piece of paper, start and finish. <laughs> okay, sure. There you go. <laughs> Sitting here. Yeah. But so, uh, season two, episode one, The Mandalorian. How good was that? I... Uh-oh. Uh, you what? No, like, I thought it was really good. I didn't oh, know okay. what to expect. And then, you know, the whole ending. Yes. So going into the season, you know, I touched on with, with Jake and Erica that one of the characters that was supposedly rumored to be a part of this season was Boba Fett. And... So going into the into the in the episode, near, right right near the beginning, you you see this guy walk in the saloon with Boba Fett gear on. You're like, oh crap, there he is. Let's go. Let's <laughs> no go. No waiting. No waiting. No Let's waiting. Into it. Exactly. I was like, wow, already? Holy crap! And uh, but then you know, a couple minutes later, he takes off the helmet. It's not him. Right. It's not him. So you're like, oh really? They pulled that on us. <laughs> and the whole the whole episode, you're like, well, this guy's not Boba Fett. He's a loser. Uh huh. Uh -huh. but not a loser, but you know, not, not as bad. It's not Boba Fett. Yeah. Not as badass and not, not Boba Fett, but yeah. Um, nevertheless, he does end up being kind of cool, I guess. Uh, fights. He's not, he's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Fights alongside Mandalorian, uh, to take down a big old sand dragon. 
terrorizing a, a city. <laughs> that thing was crazy. Um, was, that was a lot bigger than like I had envisioned just from seeing its head pop out. I'm like, oh, okay. And then it's like, boom. <laughs> Like, I mean, I figured the way it was, it was shifting through the sand, through the city. Yeah. You could tell how like wide it was. I don't know why everybody was so like, oh, it's that big. I was like, yeah, look at well, it. Okay. I'll give you like the width of it. Like, yeah, this thing's going to be huge, but like lengthwise, lengthwise, like, yeah, I wasn't envisioning like, the like a dragon. So when you think of a, a dragon, it's not yeah, so guess. much long as it is just big. That's true. I guess. Yeah. But it's like half dragon, half like snake. Snake. Yeah. yeah. So no, it was like a, it was a big thing. It was a big thing. Yeah, it was a, it was a big guy. <laughs> but um, so then, and then they also brought back the uh, the Tuscan Raiders, which I guess we haven't really seen much of other than the original Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I was... and and my whole thing was like. The Mandalorian just like jumped right in, you know, already befriending them. And I was like, how does- Speaking he- their language. Yeah, how does that work? And then, you know, I guess it's just kind of to be assumed that through his travels and experiences that that's what he does. Mandalorians are very well-versed in, in cultures and languages yeah. and just everything. They just, like you said, travel them when they travel all that, you know, everything they have yeah. to know, like you said, they have to know languages, they have to just- yeah, he, he jumped right in. He, he he took control of the the dog or you know whatever you want to call them, the Tuscan pets. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I, yeah, I don't know wolf, the Tuscan wolf or whatever it was. Um, took control of that and just settled the situation down and and then started talking to the to the Tuscans and was like, all right, they want our help. We're, they I mean, we need their help. Let's do yeah. this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and you, and you could definitely tell already the beginning of this of this season that they got the budget they they got the, the oh budget budget gosh. from the first season can we just can we just pause for a second and, <laughs> pause. and, and appreciate the comic relief through the little baby yoda he didn't have too much of of an impact on the episode but yeah any any little cue that he had yes yes he doesn't have to do anything like he's hiding in a pot a, like, a pot yeah <laughs> like any pops up like that's it that's all it takes yeah <laughs> like two two seconds just like kind of peeking up around the pot uh, oh actually yep. at the very beginning when he's in his little pod and, we and talked, he pushes the button he goes Boop. yeah that's what that's what that's what uh jake and erica and i talked about a couple weeks ago we were, that that was in like the the teaser trailer and everything yeah, yeah. and uh, that was in the first <laughs> episode too and, you know mandalorian's like you know or they they they're threatening the mandalorian he's just like oh you know i'll I'm not threatened or what you know whatever he says yeah. I can't yeah. remember now yeah, but yeah. and he's uh and yeah, baby Yoda just yep he just looks he looks at the Mandalorian's wrist you know when his, his gauntlet turns on lights or whatever up, yep. lights up <laughs> and he's just like oh I know it's coming Boop. <laughs> oh, in out. my shell <laughs> in my shell yep oh it was so funny yep. there's another yep. part that he oh uh when the Tuscan wolf or again whatever it is when when they're sitting around the, the fire Mm-hmm. and uh the tuscans and the mandalorian they're all like talking strategy or whatever and uh baby yoda's it's like the wolf is staring at him like licking uh, his lips and baby yeah, yoda's just like yeah, yeah. What, what, what wait what's going on stop looking at me <laughs> yeah <laughs> help don't eat me yeah. yeah yeah i will i will tell you there i know you haven't seen episode two and you know i don't want to talk about it but there's definitely more comic relief a okay. little baby Yoda. Okay. So it is enjoyable. Yeah, good. Good, good. <laughs> That's what everybody likes, right? Yes. But I I do want to throw out before we like transition in the whole ending where they show Boba Fett at the end, right? Yeah, I guess yeah, we never yeah, so so that was the whole thing. We go through the episode thinking, I guess it's not, you know, this, this guy isn't Boba Fett. We're not gonna get Boba mm-hmm. Fett. And at the very, very end of the of the episode, like literally a like second last before five the, seconds. Like the yeah. last five seconds before the credits. <laughs> Uh, there's this this guy watching at the top of a dune as a Mandalorian drive speeder bikes away, and uh, he turns around and there he is, Boba Fett standing there, all so, old and and ripped up from being in the Sarlacc pit and everything. And so, uh, yes, there's another theory out there though. Mm-hmm. So anybody who has watched 
like the Clone Wars, like the Disney cartoon shows, the Clone Wars and everything. Yep. Um, the theory is, is that's not actually Boba Fett. The theory is, is that it's one of the clones by the name of Rex, who is basically like first commander in regards to like working with Anakin and Obi-Wan and, and Ahsoka and stuff. Um, so rumor has it is that it's actually uh, the Rex, or yeah, the Rex, the clone, the clone Rex. And that's going to be the transition into how Ahsoka, Ahsoka comes into the series. That would so, be badass. I don't know. I'd I like mean, to it, see Rex again. Yeah, Rex is one of my I favorite know, characters. I know, because he fits, he fits the timeline. He fits the timeline as well. <sighs> and so, he was, and I, if I remember correctly, wasn't he? No, that was that was earlier in, in Clone Wars. Where I remember they were on that on that sand planet. Yeah. But that yeah. was earlier. Not that wasn't at the end. Yeah. I don't know. So there's could, could be there's the other theory. We don't we don't know yet. We're gonna have to yeah, wait we'll, and see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. But because huh. everybody because everybody's initial thought was yeah oh my god it's Boba Fett, and then you know after everybody kind of like digests the episode and kind of sits down and figures out the Star Wars timeline. Hmm. You know, there's the potential because again, if you watch the uh, Clone Wars on on Disney or uh, Rebels, mm -hmm. um, again, spoilers. <laughs> Rex. <laughs> we're still on the spoiler section, so we're, we we're still in the spoiler section. Um, <laughs> Rex doesn't die. No. Like a variety of yeah uh, of the, the clones do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Ahsoka doesn't die. Rex doesn't die. So like that would make a lot of sense to be the transition into, you know, yeah. bringing in Ahsoka connecting rex through so i would hmm. i would actually be much more excited to see that as the actual storyline than it being boba fett no offense boba can fett we, but can like we have, can we have both because i like boba fett but uh, i mean i guess <laughs> i guess but i'm so much more i'm so much more excited to see rex and, and ahsoka because yeah. uh they were too yeah i think ahsoka is badass oh but... yeah no doubt no doubt <laughs> <laughs> so but we'll see. I, I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. I'll have to wait till uh, episode three now. Oh, they... wait, a, wait a spoil episode two. We don't find anything out about it, I guess. No, no. I wanna... no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying I want to see how the storyline continues, continues in episode three. Okay. That good doesn't save. mean that they're not in episode two. Good save. Good save. Uh, all right. Just so. <laughs> nice. But we'll so, see. yeah. So we're excited for sure to see where they go from here but um they were it was a long episode i don't know if, if episode two was longer too episode two is about 45 minutes this was okay. closer to an, the first one was closer to an hour yeah close one was right? 50 yeah. 55 or so minutes something like that i mean yeah. most most of the ones last last season were you know half hour or a little bit over maybe that's what i said too and then everybody looked at me like i was crazy like no they were like 40 minutes and i'm like mm, there might there were like probably some eight yeah there was, there was some that were that were 40 i know the obviously like the finale and everything was an hour yeah. but yeah, they were shorter. I, definitely, that's what I said too. like I said, th with the budget, they definitely got the budget. The effects already, mm -hmm. season two, episode one, at least, mm -hmm. was a lot yeah. better. So oh, yeah. That's, just it just makes it even better. I, I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, that means that after after we're done here, you need to go and watch episode two. Oh, I am. Okay. Good. Yeah, I am. Right after this, I'm, I'm watching it. Okay, good. Yeah. You have to let me know how it goes. Okay, we will do. <laughs> so, all right. Spoilers over. Mandalorian talks Spoilers. over. Okay, done, done. See the piece of paper, done. <laughs> that was way too quick. If I may skip it through, they're not gonna see that. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> done. All right, <laughs> moving <Okay>. on. <laughs> spoiler free. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, um, something I've been thinking about, and well, just reminiscing on myself is just with the whole pandemic going on, how people are managing to stay healthy, stay in shape. Um, I don't know about you, but didn't really start out so great. <laughs> no, it did not. You have, I mean, you have that, what, freshman 15? This is like COVID-19 now. The COVID-19, yeah, I've heard COVID that. COVID-19. COVID-19 <laughs> bounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, when it started out, I was just eating, 
sitting at home, not doing anything, just yeah. What else could you do? Not being out. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I mean, everything was closed. Everyone mm-hmm. was afraid to do anything. I think everybody was even afraid to go outside, just go for a walk or run or yeah. whatever. It's just yeah. like, what do we do? Just stay in and not do anything. Mm-hmm. So, and there's probably a good bit of stress, you know, related with that as well. Just oh, stress, for sure. you know, stress about the whole not thing. Knowing, yeah, not knowing what to do. Like, I can't go to work. How do I? until it all got figured out, you know, those, those initial first two weeks mm-hmm. were just like mentally crazy because, mm-hmm. you know, I was, I was at school, you know, that Friday, and then we didn't essentially come back for the last three months of school. So those first two weeks, just trying to figure out how do we transition into teaching? Like granted, we had online capabilities to start with, but not all schools do. Right. So like schools are in a scramble to figure out how do we continue education if this continues? Yeah. So, and then, you know, I I don't know necessarily how it applied to other jobs, people of other occupations, but I'm sure that it could not have been an easy transition. No, I mean, even the the people that were able to work from home, everything's Mm. still so different. Still, again, again, you're just sitting at home, you know, not Mm -hmm. going out, you're not moving and not getting dressed enough, you know, dressed up in the morning and anything. <laughs> so know. just the whole I mindset, know. just kind of sitting home being lazy. Um, yep. Which yep. You know, it's okay. You want to be lazy or whatever, but I, you know, yeah. But, in appropriate amounts. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the beginning wasn't, wasn't great. Um, but like you said, after COVID settled in a little bit, everybody started to kind of venture out and well, probably a lot of people just got tired of sitting at home. It's like, <laughs> I need to get out, even uh-huh. if it's, you know, just for a walk or whatever. So sure. And I'm sure a lot of people started out small with just, you know, walking if they weren't totally comfortable going to the grocery store or, you know, wherever else for that matter. But yeah, you know, that's what we did. We took the dogs for a walk around the neighborhood. Yeah. So I, I started just, I started going for runs and walks and stuff. Um, it didn't last terribly long. <laughs> But I did for a while. Yeah, um, we're, all, we're guilty too. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It's it crazy. But so and then as, as everything progressed along, I guess we kind of found our way back into it. And so, you know, now we get to, to now where everybody's kind of used to the whole pandemic scenario and dealing mm-hmm. with it and everything. And you, uh, you kind of back to normal and staying in shape and eating healthy and thinking healthy and no, probably not no, quite fully <laughs> probably not quite fully with the mental part right right well and it's it's funny too because you know once we got through that initial like first three months of school when everything like you know hey there's COVID-19 mm-hmm. um we we got to the realization like it's summertime you know fortunately we're teachers so we're off like let's let's go do stuff yeah let's go walk the dogs let's go for a walk like let's just go somewhere for a weekend like go camping or something um and you know we we kind of realized on our own like we're, we're fairly active people yeah. like we're, we're former athletes right. we, we understand that we're out of shape <laughs> being out of shape and and experiencing what we experience are two different things so yeah. um you know, we, we did, we started to eat healthier. You know, we were looking at the fruits, the vegetables, the salads more and just eating like proportionally, you know, not snacking as much stress eating. In, but yes. Not just eating because you're bored. Yes. I am so guilty of that. Yes. A lot of people are just, it, yeah. So when you're yeah. sitting around doing nothing and just like, well, I guess I might as well eat. Yeah. <laughs> and we did, we, we started running you know, it, it didn't last you terribly long, but like, yeah. we tried, you know, yeah. but I do have to say like between, between us, you know, myself personally, like I probably lost a good, like six, seven pounds over the summer, you know, and into the beginning of the school year, because I was like, this, like, I, this isn't me, Yeah. you know, like I, I, I want to be healthy, but I also want to be in, you know, shape for my age and not just be sitting on the couch doing nothing. Like, yeah. you know, and now that everything has gotten to that new normal you know we're playing soccer again and whoo that was rough but okay yes you know (laughs) exactly (laughs) so with us being both being coaches you know even as a coach you're still getting out there and kind of running around with them showing them things here and there and 
boy, did it hit me. I was out there coaching. I was running around a little bit and I ran like probably 50, 50 yards or 50 meters, uh-huh. whatever you want to say. And I was just like, oh my uh-huh. God, I'm out of shape. Yeah. Like fortunately I was able, like for, for my club team, like I've been, I've been doing that since the summer. So that, that wasn't as bad, but to like be involved in like an adult league and play a game. Oh my God. Have you? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like oh. last, last week was our first one. Yeah. Um, cause again, <laughs> it's one of those things that like they had to scrap and then reorganize because yeah. of COVID. So, you know, wow. It was Wednesday night by Friday. I, I couldn't feel my legs. You were lifting, you were moving your legs <laughs> with your hands. With my hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, Oh my God. I knew I was out of shape, but not, <laughs> not this bad. Not this bad. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, so yeah, it definitely yeah, was a, hopefully. it was a kick in the rear <laughs> getting, getting back to coaching for me. I know that. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Well, and in general, I feel like for anybody who's getting back out into the, the athletic world, you know, yeah. that initial probably first two weeks is going to be rough. Yep. yep. So yeah, yep. experienced it. So <laughs> luckily I've, I've motivated myself enough to, now that I'm back at, at my day job, um, during lunch and during our break, you know, in the afternoon, I'm, I'm always going for a walk. Um, okay, so I'm yeah. always, we have this, we have a building next to us and it kind of has a, you know, like a driveway all around it. So I just do mm-hmm. laps around the building and it's, Hey, I, I think about it. And I'm like, I wonder if these people, cause they got all windows all around the building. And I'm like, I wonder if they're kind of just watching me like, well, there's that guy again. Oh, there, there he is again. Oh, there oh he absolutely. Is. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Just, but I'm sure that there are those people too that are like, look at that guy go. Like he has the motivation to go out during lunch, to go out during the break and like exercise. Just move around a little bit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There we go. I'm inspiring people exactly. just by walking myself. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. And you didn't even know it. I did. I, I actually, actually didn't. I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. I just, I just pictured them <laughs> sitting in their, in their chest or in their chest, in their desk <laughs> chair I think that's what the words I mixed uh-huh. there. Put together, absolutely. Yeah. But they're sitting there just like, oh, there's that guy again. What's he doing? Why is he walking? Oh, you, yeah, definitely. That weirdo. Uh, mm-hmm. That weirdo. Yeah. But, but uh, on the other side of things, there are definitely people that are looking like, good for you. Good for you, maybe I should try to do something. I'm going to go do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. I like it, Liz. I like it. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> um. And then now, obviously, with with everything getting back towards the, the newer normal, we've got you know gym, the whole gym situation. Um, gyms are are reopened. Actually, they've been open for a while, I guess. But mm-hmm. um, I don't know if you if you went to gym before uh, COVID or not. But I mean, how do you feel about going to them now? You feel would you feel safe going to a gym now? You know, uh, to be honest with you, I never really got into the whole gym uh, vibe. I was always one, like, I'm going to go do it on my own. Um, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't go and like, give it a try. Like, Hey, free membership for a day. All right. I'm in. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, I, I think at this point, everybody's doing what they need to be doing in order to keep everyone as safe as possible. Um, so I, I don't see why gyms wouldn't be safe, you know, because there's limited capacity There are cleaning protocols, you know, nobody wants to be the reason that their gym closes down because they didn't clean the equipment or they let too many people in or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I really don't see why. I mean, if we can go out to the grocery store, if we can, you know, go out to restaurants, why is a gym any different? Hmm. That's my thought. And good I'm not po- a gym person. Good so. points because I, I <laughs> myself, I, I belong to, to Planet Fitness and I have not been back. I haven't. Really? I, no, I, I, the more, you know, as I think about it, it's like, I don't, even before, yeah. even before the pandemic, I was always like, I'm kind of a germaphobe, but um, not terrible, but enough no. to be like, you know, these people, all these people using these equipment, are they all cleaning it and stuff? And yeah. Yeah. You always have people that kind of don't. Um, sure you, know, you definitely notice people that just kind of use it and just walk away and you're like oh dude come on yeah but well and I think I think now though I think that staff of the gyms have kind of stepped more up active too. And yeah kind of just going around okay yeah mm-hmm. 
I, I do. Cause like I said, nobody wants to be the reason why a gym closes. Yeah. Especially yeah, if you're, <laughs> if you're a gym rat and you're, you're, you know, you're there every day of the week, mm-hmm. you don't want it to close down. So yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. So like I said, I'm not, a, to- I'm not a gym person, but I don't see why not. Maybe I'll have to think about trying to go back then. At least once. Try it once. If you're, if you're you know, uncomfortable, yeah. not okay with it, then you can at least say you tried. Yeah. Follow the rules, wear your mask, you know, all that fun that's, stuff. I guess that's the other thing is how, how comfortable are people with wearing the mask while they work out? I think it's going to depend on what you're doing. I don't know. I don't know the whole rules, but I wonder if they allow you to take it off, like when you're on a treadmill or something like that. I, I feel. I feel like you would be, but again, like you, I don't know the official yeah. protocols, rules, regulations. You know, yeah. but I'm sure, depending on what the exercise is that you're doing, you could probably take it off. Yeah, and they probably have like separation on treadmills, like you can't go to the person next or treadmill next to the person mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, limited capacity, so many people in a day. I don't know if they even like limit your time there like do you only get an hour or a half an hour and then you have to I, I feel like in? they I feel like they wouldn't do that because there's people that can spend hours and oh, hours there <laughs> absolutely but you know I, I'm not a gym person so yeah. I don't know yeah but <laughs> don't know but I, I would know. say give it a try at least once and you know if you're not comfortable with it you can at least say you tried and see yeah you know, what happens in the future. Yeah. Just like, just like anything in life, you know, you know, not sure if you like it or not try it. If you don't, then you don't. Right. How else do you expect to eat your fruits and veggies? Exactly. (laughs) Mom, I don't want to try asparagus. It looks gross. You never even had it. Never had it. Try it. Takes one bite. (laughs) Gross. Well, at least you tried it. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So, (laughs) Well, hopefully everybody's out there, you know, doing what you can to, to stay healthy, stay, you know, stay safe, obviously stay healthy, stay in shape. If you want, if you don't, then, you know, do what you want to do. Alternatives. Exactly. Do what you want to do. But so next we want to, we wanted to talk on the whole, uh, holiday seasons. Uh, So Halloween to end of the year is kind of like the holiday season, I guess you could say. So you get uh very upset when people skip straight from halloween to christmas so annoying so annoying (laughs) um listen it's nothing personal but there's a reason (laughs) that it's a holiday (laughs) like what what for a person who skips thanksgiving in regards to like the decorating portion of it not even so much like they skip the holiday but just like all right, we're going to decorate for Halloween. We're going to take the kids trick or treating. And then like November 1st, boom, it's Christmas. No, <laughs> like there are, <laughs> there are fall decorations that apply to Thanksgiving. There are like harvest decorations that apply to things like, well, that kind of happens a, before Halloween though. Some fall, well, fall decorations. Fall, okay. So fall decorations do. Yeah. But my point is, is like after Halloween, they go away and then they just put up Christmas, like leave them up for the month of November. <laughs> you have an entire month between Thanksgiving and Christmas to decorate. Like <laughs> Black Friday, right? Day after Thanksgiving, boom, Christmas. I'm totally okay with it. Like Thanksgiving's over. But why do we skip Thanksgiving? Like no. it's a holiday. Black Friday isn't really after Thanksgiving anymore. It's, a, it's beginning wow. of November. Yeah. Seriously, but. I was I was getting like stuff from from Best Buy and all other companies like really? we've got Best we've got Black Friday deals here. I was like, what? It it come on November, November one? Yes, it <laughs> seriously was. Oh I guess gosh. I guess with the pandemic, they're probably trying to spread things out a little bit yeah. to try to help with deliveries or yeah. whatever. But yeah. I don't know, but it is, but it is it's crazy like I was I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw this this picture that was up and it was a a calendar of November okay calendar of November and I think it was like Wednesday Thursday Friday were highlighted in one color to represent Thanksgiving and then the rest of the month of November was in a different color to represent Christmas, Christmas. And I was like no that's <laughs> not how this works <laughs> Okay, so it's not how it works. 
I'm kind of in that group with the whole Christmas. Oh, I, 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 you know, <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. I didn't want to tell you before. I'm not, oh, I'm not that bad. No. I, I don't decorate this early or anything, but I, my mindset is in, uh -huh. I'm thinking about Christmas already. I yeah. love Christmas. Like I'm thinking about like, you know, ideas for, to get people and, sure. and thinking about the whole, how are we going to do the gathering of everybody and right. everything like that? So I'm I guess like, I'm, I'm on the, I'm on like the, the semi Christmas. You're on the fence. Yeah. Because let's, okay. So let's be realistic. Like I've already started Christmas shopping. Okay. I won't even lie. There you go. But, but my, my problem is, is the whole decoration. Okay. Like it's November. If you're going to put your Christmas lights up, fine. I understand it's Don't turn weather. Them on. Don't turn them on. <laughs> don't blow up your blow ups in the front yard at yeah. least until you know the day after thanksgiving like yeah. i understand okay. shopping i understand uh planning you know, trying to figure out plan yeah absolutely because like i said i'm guilty of it i've already started christmas shopping okay. but um it's it's just the idea of like you go from halloween to christmas in the the decoration and like some people are just like hardcore full on like November 1st Christmas songs and I'm like <laughs> oh no. no that's too early for no, Christmas songs no. yeah that's that's too early for Christmas songs <laughs> I mean I get it it's personal preference it is but like and I and I know you know I would say the majority of people obviously still celebrate Thanksgiving but again like for me it goes back to all right you have to plan Thanksgiving the same that you would plan Christmas or that you'd plan Easter or, you know, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate where yeah. you're getting together with family. I get what like, you mean. So instead of, so everybody plans Christmas, you know, a month or two ahead, but yeah. everybody's planning Thanksgiving a day or two ahead. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like it's just as important because I mean, you know, Thanksgiving, like you're, you're giving thanks. Like it's in the name. Yeah. No, granted like the history behind it is a little bit more involved than that but yeah. like <laughs> the idea of it the idea and, of it is to to appreciate and and yeah. give thanks and and be thankful and don't happy skip for, it. yeah <laughs> don't skip out like you know the whole like like i said the harvesting idea the the fall decor you know you have that up for for october like let it ride out through november yeah. You know, why are you taking it away already? Are, <laughs> mine's still up in the house. Okay, well, maybe you've got the people that it's a lot of work to decorate for Christmas and they don't want to have it just up for a month. They want it up for a couple months. All right, well, then let it up into January. I don't care. It's after the holiday, though, because then the Christmas lights can still technically apply to like New Year's, all the fun, the festive. Yeah, I guess, yeah, Christmas lights kind of are more winter, you know, than, yeah. than fall. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Yes. You're just, so you're so passionate about just, this. Just give Thanksgiving its appreciation. Give the turkey its due. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy it yeah. when you eat it, but yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I got you. I got you. Fair All points. Fair points. I'm, I'm done seeing calendars with November where it's Christmas <laughs> it's, and then it's three <laughs> days of Thanksgiving. No, it's the whole month. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. I'm I got passionate. You. I got passionate you. about it. Good. Good. <laughs> so when we and we touched on the whole we touched on the whole uh, ability to to well not the ability to gather, but the well, I guess yeah, the ability to gather obviously is gonna be different now with, with COVID. Mm -hmm. So obviously. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have people that are going to be skeptical about it you know I, I don't, we're not sure if we want to gather with our family and then you're gonna have the other the other side that's just like i don't care i'm gathering with my family it's my family i'm, I'm mm -hmm. getting together on a holiday with my family sure so you got both sides you got you know are we gonna have to do a virtual gathering are we gonna not you know just just <laughs> flopping around my little wire here <laughs> what the heck um yeah <laughs> You know, you got one side that's not sure about it and one side that's all for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be tough either way, I have to imagine. Uh, even yeah. if you decide to do it, it's probably going to be a little uncomfortable or at least a little different feeling. Sure, um, sure. Because then it, it goes to, you know, are you going to 
hold the, these gather like normal? Yeah. Are you going to put a little bit more space in between the chairs, you know, at the tables? Are you going to have another table in another room just to, to alleviate maybe that, that close space, that tight, like, Hey, yeah. uncle Joe, how are you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> like, elbows, you know, elbows sitting. Well, yeah. Eating off the person beside you off their plate. Yeah. yeah. Is, totally that you know, is that something you normally do? Not me, but it totally happened in my family once. Yes. We okay. were at my, we were, <laughs> we were at my house uh, for Thanksgiving one year. My mom has a dining room table and it holds eight people comfortably while well, instead of getting out the big pop-out table to put like four of us at the table um we decided to cram everybody in and we somehow managed to go from like eight to 13 or 14 people at this table yeah mm -hmm. so it was the shoulder to shoulder the elbow so um my brother totally was eating off of my grandpa's plate next to him like were they sharing a plate or was he just literally I think it was more of just, just being a joke. obnoxious. Yeah. yeah, but like he did it enough that like he <laughs> ate at, like a helping. I don't know, it was like <laughs> turkey or stuffing or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Totally happened. My family. <laughs> <laughs> not at all shocked. Nah, <laughs> nah, not so much. <laughs> not so much. That's pretty funny though. Yeah. It's like, oh, your turkey looks better than mine. I think I'll just mm -hmm. grab that. Yep. Yep. Totally okay. Happy. Okay. Yeah, we might, <laughs> might not want to do that this year. <laughs> not this year. Might not want to do that this year. Nope. nope. Um, so, I mean, hopefully everyone finds a way to figure out what they want to do and, and just feel comfortable enough to be able to mm -hmm. do it. Um, you know, if you have to wear masks while you're obviously not eating, you can't do it while you're eating, but sure. I guess, I guess you could, you could just pull it, put it yeah, back. Listen, put, put it. I've, I have seen, I have seen, um, like musicians, like, like high school band members, right? They have little slits in their masks for their instruments. So, or like a flap for their instrument. You could totally make it happen that way. I'm just saying it's a thing. That's interesting. Yep. Like if you play the clarinet, mm -hmm. so they cut out like the sides and the bottom so that it folds up and you play your clarinet. Or if you play the flute, like there's a hole cut out of the side and it right in front of the mask. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. I mean, so you could that, totally do that for for dinner. I guess. I don't know how comfortable it would be, but nah, like, I don't know. how 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 many times are you gonna want to pull up or pull down your mask to take a bite? Yeah, it seems a little extreme. I mean, if you're sitting around a table with everybody at that point, you're. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but yeah, it's so, gonna be different. Yeah, it is. I mean, unfortunately, I I can imagine a lot of people are still gonna do it, and sure. fortunately, I have to imagine the COVID cases are probably gonna go up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I, I feel like it, that tends to be the spreader because it, it you know, it's my family. Like yeah. nobody in my family has it. Nobody said anything. Right. right. And then, yeah. you know, that's unfortunately where it comes from because when you're asymptomatic and you're not showing anything, you could potentially spread it that way or, yeah. you know, it, it's unfortunate because it's going to be different, but yeah. I think with everything becoming the new norm mm -hmm. that people will adjust and people will make we'll figure it out. Yes. Yeah. So no matter what you do, you know, no matter, matter what you cho choose to do, anything, anything is going to be better than nothing. So, sure. you know, it's, and we could all use that right now. Just, just even mm -hmm. seeing your family's faces on a screen, yeah. if that, you know, if that, you know, is the case, it's, I, it's better than nothing. And that's, that's, kind of the whole idea like if you see your family through a computer screen like you're still seeing your family you yeah. know it's different it's not the same but would you rather not have the technology available to see them yeah. you know and then if you uh, see them in person you know hey you're you're still seeing your family yeah. you know it's just it's that idea of being able to have the access to see your family yeah. regardless of what the means are what the, yeah what the scenario is and mm -hmm. what what aspect it's in yep mm -hmm. so hopefully everybody gets the chance to you know to gather with with your loved ones and friends and family and make the most of, of the holidays uh, obviously it's like we said it's going to be different but it's still it's still holidays and it's still going to be the chance to to be with with people and and say hello and and be thankful for people and you know so who knows make, it could start a new tradition <laughs> virtual thanksgiving 
Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to make the mashed potatoes over here and just eat mashed potatoes all day. <laughs> and then somebody will make the turkey and just eat turkey all day. Oh, geez. I'm sure somebody will come up with something crazy. Something crazy. Creative. Yeah. You're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> people are creative. They people are. are creative. People are people out there that are so, so inventive and so creative. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, I am unfortunately not one of them, but you know. <laughs> Jeez. All right. <laughs> oh, I'll goodness. admit to it. Yeah. No shame. Okay. Like, I'll just do whatever I need to do. <laughs> I got my set ways and that's the way I'm doing it. I mean, I try, but like, I wouldn't go out of my way to come up with something creative if, if it didn't just like come to me. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh perfect time to take a personality quiz then <laughs> <laughs> yes let's so, see how these things work yes yeah, so we're gonna do some little quizzes here some fun quizzes to see what <clears throat> what we come up with so the first one is called if you were a cake what flavor would you be if you were a cake what flavor would you be yes <laughs> okay so all right first question what's your favorite time of the day early morning like 6 a.m Late morning around 10 a.m., afternoon around 1 p.m., evening around 5 p.m., nighttime around 10 p.m., or the late shift, like 3 a.m. What's your favorite time of the day? Um, I don't know, because it depends on, like, the time of the year. Oh, my it's, gosh. Well, think about it. Like, no. in the summer. In the summer. <laughs> In the summertime, I love the evening, like five o'clock and after. But in the wintertime, I hate it because it's dark. I don't know. <sighs> Do you like the morning more though in the winter? No. Well, there you go. That's I your answer still. That's your answer still. <laughs> evening around gonna... five. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or nighttime around ten because you're like, oh, I get to go to sleep soon. No. Sleep's sleep's great. I'm doing the five. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too. I mean, it's. You got done with work. You're heading home. It's like, oh yeah. Get to, oh my goodness, what are you I'm doing? I'm sorry, <laughs> my computer <laughs> will operate. All right, I'm trying. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I'm doing. I'm doing the evening same. Um, right. You know, with with being done with work, going home. Like, oh, I'm done with the, done, done for the day. I get to have my fun now. I get to go. Well, for me, That's I get true. to go and do my next stuff with with the podcast and with streaming there and stuff. Go. So there you go. All right. Um, and I look forward to that every day. I really do. So uh, definitely evening around five. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fair. Okay. How would your friends describe you to someone you've never met? Adventurous, friendly, dependable, outgoing, creative, or unique? Should we do each other's here? Yes. All right. So for you. I got yours. I'm going to say that dependable. Okay. Cause you're, all, you're always, out. you're always there. If I need somebody to talk to, you're always there. If I need something, um, you know, if I, if I look and have people over or something, you're always, okay. Yeah, I'm there. Let's go. You're always, always dependable for me. You're always there for me. So I'm say so yours is dependable. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you outgoing. Really? Because yeah, <laughs> really? Like you could walk into a room of people who just like want nothing to do with each other and like won't say a word. And by the end of the night, like everybody's like bumping, bouncing off the walls, like part, I swear, like you could make the most uncomfortable situation, the most comfortable, normal, like we've known each other forever kind of situation because you just have this like bubbly personality that like you'll and and it kind of incorporates with friendly yeah but like that's probably what I would have said for myself but okay <laughs> you're making a good case for outgoing I like it <laughs> <laughs> but like I'll tie it into friendly yeah and and say like you know you will be friends with uh, you know practically anybody and everybody yeah but but because of your outgoing personality okay all right I'll go out then cool I like all right. it if your life was a movie, what genre would you want it to be? Romance, coming of age, comedy, fantasy, action, animated Disney. <laughs> Yours is comedy. Oh, no, that was only one question. We're not doing everyone. 
All right, fine. <laughs> uh, my life was a movie, what genre would I want it to be? Um, honestly, I think like, I could do any of them, honestly, but I know. if I had to pick one, I, I'm actually kind of leaning toward fantasy. I was doing that or action. Yeah, because that's what that was a ton of, like, kind of like fantasy action, like like yeah. dragons and like. Yeah, like the, the sci-fi. Almost. Magic or sci-fi. Yeah, like sci-fi. Exactly. So I think that's, I'm thinking that's probably more towards fantasy. So being in a, in a magical dragon world. I took action. I just action? like the, I did. I like the like hands on, let's go get shit done. <laughs> Let's go get shit done. You have an all expense paid trip to any of these cities. Which one do you pick? Los Angeles, Paris, Tokyo, New York City, London, Dubai. London. I took London. I'm going to say Paris. I was, it was between those two. I see London. I see pants. I see underpants. All right. <laughs> Wait, three? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What is your greatest strength? I have a big heart. I don't even need to read the rest of them. I have a big heart. <laughs> what is your greatest strength? I have a big heart. I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm a hard worker. I'm spontaneous. My charming personality, my intelligence. I think I have to go with the same one. It's either big heart or not afraid to be myself for me, but I think my heart is always what I, I think of when I think of myself. Uh -huh. just... No, I don't disagree. Yeah. You're, you're the same. I you say uh, yeah yeah i think so too i mean some of them are like just we're just two really kind people <laughs> what do we do i know greatest weakness uh, greatest weakness impatient too trusting struggle to make decisions push people away afraid to step out of comfort zone hate being told what to do see some of these i feel like it depends on the context <laughs> yeah um, uh, like what kind of decisions are we talking about? Like life decisions or where to go for dinner? Well, the fact that you're asking it makes it your answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for you, honestly, you, you gotta be struggling okay. to make decisions. That's mine. That's yeah, mine. you are. <laughs> um, it sounds cliche, but I think I'm too trusting. I don't know that it's necessarily too cliche because I think it could coincide with like having that big heart. Like I gave everybody just, the benefit of the doubt. Yep. I that really was do. literally just took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But that's not always a bad thing. No. I always give people the benefit of the doubt until they continually kind of take advantage of that. And mm -hmm. eventually I either say something or I say bye. But well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. What is your dream job? Something adventurous like an astronaut, something that makes good money like a lawyer, something exciting like an actor, something creative like a writer, something that helps others like a nurse, or none of these is sound appealing to me. <laughs> Come on, pick one at least, jeez. Uh, I mean, can I just base it off of my current occupation? Yeah. Okay. So your teacher, you help people, that, kind of, that would be the help people one, right? Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Well, that's what I went with, because I was like, I mean, that's always what I want to do. Yeah. Never, yeah. like. Yeah, you don't. I don't think else. it's saying necessarily you have to be a nurse. It's just saying something that helps others. Okay. Example: okay. a nurse. Nurse. Okay. All right. Fair uh, enough. Um. That one's kind of tough. It's not. It's not. It's not adventurous. It's not the money making one for sure. Neither of those. Um, I feel like you would be the helping one too, though. Yeah, either that one or, or creative, like a writer. I love being creative. I really do. Yeah, um, I'll give you that. I mean, look at what you're doing now. So yeah. <clears throat> I give that to you. Just to change it up, I'm going to go with the creative one. All right. I'm going to go right. with the creative one. Okay. If you could live anywhere, where would you oh, live? Boy. Castle in the countryside, quiet cabin in the woods, penthouse in the city, big house in the suburbs, a beach house on the coast, a van that travels around the world. I don't know why, but the first thing that popped in my head was the dog van from Dumb and Dumber. I have no idea why. I just, when they said van, no idea. The most random thing. Uh, I just pictured, oh my gosh. Yep, no comment. Yeah. Um. So like, can that van be a, a camper to travel yeah. around the world? Yeah. All right, because that's what I'm that. doing. Really? I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I want to, uh, I want to go places. I, I'm 150% beach house on the coast. Really? Oh, no doubt. See, no I get doubt. tired of it after a while. Nope. I <sighs> love, I love the water. I love the beach. I love the whole setting. Yeah. I, I just want to experience all the different places. I get that. I get that. It'd definitely still be cool to do that, but mm. I could I could live on on a beach house and on the coast in all a heartbeat. Right. I'll give it to you in a heartbeat. Am I selecting? Yeah. Okay. Um, and finally, pick a non-cake dessert to satisfy your sweet tooth. Oh, God! These pictures. Mm. It's so good. Cookies, brownies, ice cream, pie, churros, mousse. Pie. No, not pie. Brownies. I don't even like pie. <laughs> pie. No, not pie. I don't even like pie. <laughs> First thing. Sorry. Um, oh, man. Warm, soft, chewy chocolate cookies sound so good. <laughs> but brownies are so good, too. They are. It's not ice cream. No, it's not ice cream because I can't even eat ice cream. <laughs> uh, pie. Pie's good every once in a while, but it's not the go-to. Yeah, I'm going brownies. I want brownies. Like double chocolate, just icing on top, sugar, and just loaded brownies. Oh. Nope, just regular. Just regular brownies. Just regular. <laughs> Those are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> too much chocolate is just too much chocolate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. results. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's probably that's probably correct. If you were you cake, get? what flavor would you be? I got chocolate cake. Nah. -uh. Yeah. That's me too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just like a slice of chocolate cake, you're sweet as can be. You're kind, empathetic person. Put 100% into everything you do. You're a super reliable friend and always the first to offer a shoulder to lean on. What can we say? You're a total sweetheart. Oh. That's right. Isn't that what, <laughs> is that not what yours says, Dita? It's exactly what it says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we answer differently. Why is it saying the same thing? This is stupid. It's I know. Quiz, quiz hey, you picked it. Faulty. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I do love chocolate cake, though. Oh. You know, it's funny. I prefer vanilla. Oh, gross. Why? All right. Vanilla, vanilla cake with vanilla icing or vanilla cake with chocolate icing? Either. Okay. Like the, the yellow what, vanilla cake. The yellow, yeah, yellow cake, okay, yes. Yellow, okay, I call it vanilla. It's yellow, mm, whatever. There's a difference. There's the- uh, But like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. The, yellow, the yellow cake is better than vanilla. I'll give you that. Okay, well, yeah. then I guess it's yellow cake, technically. Okay, all right. Oh man, we're talking about desserts. I'm getting so hungry for dessert. I need to eat lunch. <laughs> I need to eat lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, let's, uh, let's, blow through this other one too because i wanted to do this because we talked about the gym and how i'm kind of like a germaphobe and stuff but also people from work always joke around how i have like ocd and stuff because i'm so organized and everything has to be in this class <laughs> i got like i got spreadsheets that i have for my stuff and if uh, when i was was not there for the for yeah. you know for COVID and everything, they were kind of doing some stuff with it. And they were like, so nervous. It's like, we don't want to mess up with spreadsheets and stuff. And it's just like, ah, whatever. I mean, it's but okay. yeah, Deep it's okay, but like, it's oh not. God, stop <laughs> touching my stuff. Don't touch <laughs> my stuff. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. But yes. so I want to see what this says about if I'm a neat freak or not. Okay. So all right. This I'm is gonna... the, neat, the neat freak test. All right. Uh, being, oh, I just want to read this, what, what this says. Being neat saves time and energy and just makes things look better. But neatness can also become an obsession. Has your desire for organization gone a little overboard? Put down the mop for a minute and take this test. All right. Seems we have to like really it. register or can we, like, let's get started. Just let's get started, yeah. Okay. All right, neat freak test. Oh. <laughs> your dishes are cleaned and put away after every meal. Piled in the sink like a gunky Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Usually washed and put away, but there might be a few stragglers left in the sink. Oh, dear. Well, what happens if you have a dishwasher? Like, I'd say, you... I'd say clean to put away after every meal, though. Okay. You take, you're taking care of them. They might not be cleaned right after every meal, but you're okay. putting them to the last... be cleaned. 
Yeah, I was doing the usually washed and put away just because of. Do you put all everything in the dishwasher, or do you have a couple things you hand wash no, still? Let's see. There's, there's, yeah, there's still some stragglers. Yeah. Okay, that's what I yeah. am too. Then I, yeah. I definitely have some stragglers in the sink that I leave <laughs> for a couple of days until I decide to hand wash. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. But the re totally the rest guilty. go in the dishwasher. Yeah, I'm guilty. <laughs> Anything that's not dishwasher safe goes in the sink, and then it might sit there for. A few yeah, days. <laughs> I hate I hate doing dishes. I really do. The, the funniest part is like I grew up without a dishwasher so like it's all i've ever known all i've ever done yeah <sighs> oh, all right no. that's funny uh do you use air fresheners i sometimes spray my place with an air freshener to mask the not so pleasant smells i don't need to my place is so clean it smells fresh without the artificial stuff no i don't bother you get used to the smell after a while I think that's called living in a pig pen. Yeah, right. I'm done with the first one because um, I like air fresheners. I consider candle warmers. Like, oh, you use those candle warmer things? I do. They're mm -hmm. strong, dude. My yeah. mom has them. My mom they has are. them in the kitchen, and like when she's cooking or something, she just mm -hmm. throws it on or after or whatever. Yeah. And it just the whole house just like just, just smacks yeah. you in the face. Uh huh. Um, I, I we do we have one upstairs for the upstairs we have one downstairs yeah mm -hmm. um I'm guilty i don't necessarily say i have to have them but i'll have them just just it kind of just makes it smell a little bit better it's like a nice smell just a nice smell is better than just normal smell you know yeah yeah so which one would that be? i don't even know which one that would be i guess I the, first the first one, one. Yeah. Sometimes. yeah sometimes spray my place or leave out an air fresher just to yeah okay how often do you clean your bathroom? Boy. Well, there are <laughs> well, there are studs when I take a shower and the bowl is always flushed. Isn't that enough? <laughs> Gosh. At least once a week, I clean it, clean it until my I see my face reflected on all the surfaces. Not every <laughs> week, but I'll whip out the gloves when it's starting to look a little grimy. <laughs> yep, totally the last one. <laughs> My mom is going to hate me for this, but it's the last one too. I, I grew up, my mom cleans the, cleaned the bathrooms and everything every week. She cleans the whole oh, house yeah. every week. Mm -hmm. And since I moved out, at the beginning, I cleaned it at least every like two weeks. Yeah. Me or now, not so much. Yeah. I, 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 do, I do certain things. Yeah, I do certain things, yeah. but not a full like clean down. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. Not no, bad. to clean to clean the whole bathroom probably like twice a month. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But like you know, the sink gets dirty. You let you you Still clean it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you wipe around the toilet. You yeah. Yeah. Well, it's gotta look grimy before I do it again. Where do you usually eat your supper? At the kitchen table, of course, in front of the TV, in bed. Kitchen table. Good for you. I don't. What do you? I mean, I'll, I'm gonna either do it's in front of the TV, but it's either in, it's either in front of the TV or in front of the computer. Yeah. But usually, I'm eating while I'm doing some editing stuff or getting ready for the stream for that night or whatever. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like a it's multitasking. I've got I. I feel like I'm getting yeah. to be so good at multitasking now, doing juggling all these things. Yeah. But I, I, I'd like to sit down, kitchen table or dining room table, whatever you want to consider it, and, and eat a good meal, just relax, sit down. Mm -hmm. But I just, I feel like I'm always needing to try to just do more stuff. So I'm multitasking. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear you. Unfortunately, but. I hear you. Definitely not in bed, though. That's gross. But yeah. That's like crumbs teenage. in bed. Ugh. Gross. Oh, well, I can't like crumbs on the couch. Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, your clothes are usually in piles on the floor, put away nicely with a few things scattered around the room or hung nicely in the closet and folded neatly in the drawers. Last one. Yeah. Take care of my clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like I have a, I have a hook on the back of my door for like yeah. sweatpants or sweatshirts, but like they're still hung up neatly. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm okay. still considering it the last one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, how many household cleaners do you use? I have a cupboard field. 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 I have a cupboard filled with cleaners for every con conceivable surface, sink, and floor, and put them to use regularly. A few. A few. Oh my gosh. A few. Shall I? I have something for the bathroom and kitchen. <laughs> Does water count as a cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh boy. Oh, uh, does water count as a cleaner? <laughs> uh yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Does that gosh. mean like you put like dish soap on the in the water and at least use like a paper towel or something? No, I think I they're know. saying like literally just water and maybe a paper towel and just wipe the stuff with it. That's their cleaning. Oh boy. Um I'm gonna go with the second one, I guess. A few. I don't have uh, Actually, I do have. I have the first one. I have a lot of things, but I don't necessarily use them all. I, but it's one of those things, like, I don't use them regularly. Like, I have glass yeah. cleaner. Like, I have wood floor cleaner. I have, like, tile cleaner. You know what I mean? But I don't use them regularly. That's why I'm going with the second one. Like, I don't use them regularly. I have them, but they just kind of sit in the closet or whatever and just, they're there, need be. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're what they're going for with the first one is you're literally like doing something every day. Like you're okay, cleaning. Okay, then no. I'll yeah. add to the second. All yeah. right. Question seven. How often do you make your bed? Every morning when I feel like making it, never. Why make my bed if it's just going to get messed up again? That, so that totally used to be my, my mentality. Really? Yes. I could have cared less about making my bed. Wow. Like, yeah. But now every day. Now, like, I don't make it to the point where I'm like fluffing pillows. Like I pull the, the covers up and like cover the pillows. So it's a nice. Oh, my bed looks pristine every morning. It's like, a, it's yeah, it's, it's a have to, I yeah. feel like, I mean, obviously just growing up, I've always, I always was, I was taught to do that, but it's just, a, it's a feeling of you have your life in order, I guess you could yeah. say. Like yeah, you, you, you set that, you make that bed, you make it look nice. And then you're, you're set, you're ready to go. Your day's going to yeah. just, I don't know why it's just the kind of the way it. No, you're not wrong. Like yeah. I said, I never used to be like that. Yeah. And now probably within the last, I don't know, five or six years or so. Basically when I started living on my own mm -hmm. is when I was like, yeah, I probably should make my bed. <laughs> like I said, like, I don't, I don't well, like, granted, there's only two bed, two pillows on the bed, but yeah. like, you know, I straighten them out and like just pull up the mm -hmm. sheet and the cover. So mm -hmm. it's still made. It's nice oh, and absolutely. flat. <laughs> it's nice and flat. It's nice like, and flat yeah. looking. Yeah, I'm not like sitting there with an iron and like ironing my comforter or anything no. crazy like that. But yeah, I'm <laughs> making my bed, it's flattened out. It pillows are up and, you know, got the yeah. pillow shams over them and everything. Yeah, it's it's made. It's good. It's It starts your day. I, I yes. Know. How does your desk at home or work look? Cluttered or cluttered and disorganized? No. Completely or no. Completely organized and tidy with every pencil sharpened and every paper neatly piled or filed. Powder filed. <laughs> uh, another side note, who uses pencils? That's ridiculous. And three, if that, some yeah, uh, sure, it depends you'd... on the pencil. Like mechanical pencils, I totally use. Okay. But yeah, I guess. Not old school pencils. Uh, no. If it's uh, the third one, it's somewhat orderly, but there are a few papers and books strewn about. Fancy word. Sorry, it caught me up for a second. I'm I'm trying to think of my my work desk from home. Like <clears throat> all of my all of my pens are in their container. All of my oh shit. It's you're number two. One. Yeah. You're number two. <laughs> I'm absolutely 100% number two. Now, the only thing is I do have my home desk. It, it has some papers and junk on it, but yeah. my computer desk here, spotless. My work desk, spotless. So yeah. I, I'm still going number two. Number it, two. It, everything's like I, at work, I have a certain spot for everything on my, like there's my, even my, my pens go in a certain direction and every, it, it's stapler here, certain direction. Okay. There. I'm not that bad. Yeah. I'm not that bad. Yeah, it's it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. At work. It's bad at work. <laughs> uh, Number nine. What do you do with pizza box from last week's get together with friends? I threw it right away. I threw it out eventually. It's still on the kitchen counter. I 
I mean, I is there pizza still in it? No, I think it's saying it. I think empty. Then I'm gonna throw it right, throw it away. Right away. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say the second one, throw it out eventually, only because I don't always go to my my apartment garbage. Well, see, and that's different for you than it is for me, because yeah. like, you know, you have the big dumpster. I just have a garbage can right outside the the back door. Yeah. So all yeah. right. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I only take my garbage out. You know, when my garbage bag's full, I, if I have something like that, like a pizza box, I'll just leave it either by the door or by the garbage. And then whenever I take the garbage, I take it out. So sure. I'll no, say eventually. That. Yeah. Plus, I also secretly wish there was more pizza in it. So I leave it, I leave it there to look at it and say, oh, pizza. See if it magically appears. <laughs> magically just makes more pizza. <laughs> have you ever found a scary, slimy, fuzzy, or green thing growing in your fridge? <laughs> Nope. I clean out my fridge regularly to make sure nothing is past its expiration date a few times or my fridge may not hold a, or may, wait, what? That yeah, doesn't make sense. May, not, may hold. not hold a secret civilization, civilization, but there's something, definitely something living in there. Nope. Definitely number one. Never? Never. I have a few times. Oh, ah. uh, it's, it's like usually vegetables. So I don't eat vegetables often, but every once in a while, my mom was like, Hey, you want to take this uh, zucchini and make a zucchini or, mm -hmm. or uh, potatoes or something, some kind of vegetable, you know, something like that. I, I and I, I kind of, since I don't make them very often, I kind of yeah. forget about them. And mm -hmm. one day I'll go in and the zucchini has got a little something, something on it. Oh. It's, <laughs> it's kind of gross. It's like, okay, That's we're going to throw you yeah. right in the garbage. Oh. Yeah, I'll be honest. Nope. Yeah. But anything else, I mean, it's, it's, it's well kept, but there are a yeah. few times, a few things have kind of got a little, I can't like if it's, if it's been like, a week five days and it hasn't been eaten it's not getting eaten yes so so that's going. the age-old question leftovers you're talking right yeah yeah so leftovers what's how long do you go before the, your leftovers are done typically a week you just said five days well uh, but okay like five to seven days five to seven Sorry. days okay yeah like five okay. five to seven days a week i would say i think that it hasn't gotten eaten it's not going to get eaten so <laughs> Why am I keeping it around to get green, That's... slimy, and fuzzy? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I've never had like leftovers or anything like that go go bad. Um, uh, have you ever had milk go bad? No, not not recently. Like, I mean, I oh. like growing up, it it did because I drank it once and got sick because I didn't know. Okay. All right. We'll still we'll still let you go with the first one, but okay. yeah, leftovers. I. I it's usually, yeah, seven days. Um, if it, I don't know. So I, I want to say if every once in a while I've gone an extra day. It's like, it's like that, it's like a wall. You hit that seven days. You're like, if it's not eaten on this day, it's done. And then you get to your fridge. You're like, it's the only thing left. It's the do only I, thing. Yeah. It's the only thing I left. eat it? <laughs> it's day eight. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm like I'm walking die. on the edge of a cliff here, guys. <laughs> Uh, it's, all right let's, it's crazy i don't know oh my gosh all right score these tests yep score is 65 are you kidding me no what'd you get an 80 oh geez okay i guess i'm not as neat freak as i thought i was <laughs> <clears throat> apparently what? i'm the neatest freak in the world though that's what mine says. Okay. I, I think it probably just says it then. You whip out the cleaning agents and antibacterial, antibacterial sprays and scrub away. Not only do you like your house tidy and organized, you also get go out of your way to make sure not a crumb or dust bunny is in sight. Is it the same thing? It's literally the same thing. This, these tests are stupid. Whether at home, school, or work, everything has its place, which means when you need to find something, you're not searching for an hour to to find it keeping a tidy and clean living space says a lot about a person dude that's so crappy this is so dumb i'm never doing these ever again <laughs> definitely will though it's funny your space clearly indicates that you're an organized and clean person all very attractive traits to have just me okay mm -hmm. so different scores but same answer okay cool yeah yeah well, we'll go with the scores then you're more of a neat freak than i am apparently 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 I guess what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking of more of is it's like I said at work, my desk and my my yeah. files and stuff at work. 
are very I, I, pristine. I think that might be more OCD Probably. than, uh, than neat, and <laughs> neat and tidy. Yeah. But I, but it still like plays into the other. Yeah. So. Oh, oh my. Oh well. I guess I, I guess in a way I don't know if that makes me feel good or bad. Honestly, actually. I don't know. I mean, uh-huh. you're not pros like, and cons. Dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you're not living in a no. Like dirty apartment. Right. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, you should feel good. Yes. Exactly. Speaking of feeling good, Bright Stories of the Week. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. So, Bright Stories of the Week. Got a handful. Handful. Got a lot of, getting a lot of submissions, a lot of good ones that happen. I'm excited. Good week for Bright Stories. So, first one, little one, little one that just, that just kind of changed my day personally. So, um, at work, I had somebody call me, uh, you know, asking questions about, you know, something they received from us and blah, blah, blah. Helped them out, you know, said this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. Yippity, yappity, blah, 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 beep, beep, End of the end of the conversation, um, as we're as we're getting ready to hang up, he goes, you know, sir, I, I just I really appreciated the way you you treated me, your kindness. Yeah, and, and to keep in mind what I do isn't the most relatable service, not helping people so much. It's I'm a tax collector, essentially. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm dealing with taxes and, and basically, you know, telling people to pay their taxes and whatnot. But, um, and I always try to, I do always try to obviously help people as much as I can and, and give them the, again, give them the benefit of the doubt, see what they can do, do what, you know, do what we can do. But anyway, side note, um, this guy at the end, he was like, sir, I really appreciate the way you treated me, uh, the way you helped, you know, just, just, yeah, especially in these times, everybody's all uptight and just, Mm-hmm. A lot of times when you call into places looking for help, everybody, nobody's helpful. They're just rude. Uh, so I just really appreciate the way you, you treated me and, and the way you were very pleasant on the phone and very kind. And uh, it just, it took me by surprise and it was just totally made my day. It really did. Mm-hmm. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So it's just a simple thing. Just the guy just saying, appreciate you and what you did for me. Thank you. Have a nice day. And, you know, just, it was great. So little story. So anytime you get something like that, you're, you're calling in for somebody's help. Keep in mind, you know, a lot of, you know, like my job, if people are calling me and they're, they're up, they're upset and the blah, 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 we're dealing with, you know, there's a chance we're dealing with that on our end. You know, we're dealing with, with unpleasant callers as well. So if you're calling in to somebody and, and they're not as pleasant as you would hope they would be, keep in mind, they might not be having a good day. They might, you know, just be, they might've just gotten off the phone with somebody who was nasty to them. So maybe instead of just, you know, just, just try to throw yourself, throw yourself to the, to the kindness side and say, Hey, how, you know, how you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. You know, I have a question. Can you help me with, you know, just hopefully try to start the conversation off a little bit better and, and maybe it'll go, you know, smooth over smoother. Right. So. It could change your day too. Yeah. You know, if you had that initial bad call and, you know, you take the initiative to, to start on a positive note, you know, maybe the rest of your day continues. Yes. On that positive side. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So another story we've got here submitted. Uh, this uh, lady and her boss were doing a quarterly check in on one of their employees who seemed a little off uh, lately. Uh, she told them that she was feeling, feeling very stressed uh, with, with the potential icy road conditions, it's just the winter coming up soon. Um, she's worried about getting to work safely. She's a single mom who drives an hour and a half to work every day. Yeah. She drives an hour and a half to work every day. So her boss and the person who submitted this, um, or I'm sorry, just the, the boss is, is buying her snow tires and an easy pass so she can take the turnpike, cutting her drive t- time in, in, in half. Oh my god! And also to have tires for her to feel a little bit safer about driving and snow it. So I'm she then she's, and my, the person Smith said she was just unbelievably thankful and and just was crying. Said you know, sure. absolutely, uh, yeah. I mean that's amazing. That's huge. That's awesome. You're driving an hour, have to work. You're still dedicated to getting to work, and for uh, you know a boss to go out of his way or her, his or her way to get your tires and get you an easy pass to cut your drive time in half. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely amazing. Crazy, crazy. That, that it just, 
it's so nice to see that like that still exists. Yeah. Yep. Because you don't hear about it anymore. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We hear this, this crap and this crap and this crap. Mm -hmm. Well, there's that stuff like that going around and people need to hear and know about it. Yep. So thank for you sure. for submitting. Thank you so much. Um, and the same person also said on a, you know, on a smaller note, but still very bright and awesome, awesome thing. Um, in the past, we've mentioned one of the, one of the bright stories is, uh, a person bought something for the for the car behind them when it, at uh, Brewster's or whatever. So this person, she said that uh, every Friday she treats herself to coffee from Starbucks or or Chick Fil A or something like that. Any any Friday she just you know treats herself. She always now has started paying for the person behind her as well. Aww, that yay. it just it's it, yep. So it, it she said it's, <laughs> it starts her off on the on the right now and it just makes an amazing Friday, obviously for her and for the person behind them as well. That's awesome. So it's working, people. And hearing these stories, yay. it's inspiring people, and it we're spreading we're spreading the brightness, we're getting, spreading the kindness. And for me, hearing that was just amazing. It's so touching. Mm -hmm hearing that that something like that happened that it inspired somebody to do the same thing and just start spreading brightness and kindness it's just yeah. so heartwarming that's, so awesome yay <laughs> i know right it's just exactly what else what do you say, say? Just, what do you say yay. just yes yay this is awesome it still exists yep it still exists oh good it still exists yeah. that's awesome yep, yep. So, yeah awesome so how about you you got any any bright stories before i move to my last one uh so, I mean, it's, it's the little stuff, but like, you know, for my job, you know, I'm a teacher and I work for a, a cyber school. So, you know, right now we can't, we can't meet any of the, the students or the parents in person, obviously, but like part of my job is, is to call and to check in um, with the families, make sure everything's going okay. Um, you know, make sure the logins are working, they have access to the content, especially like the new students who have just enrolled for the first time this year, whether it was the beginning of the year or, um, you know, throughout the year, you know, we still have kids enrolling. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, when I call and I check in, most of the time I'll talk to, to their caretakers, you know, whoever's there at the time of day, whenever I call. But, you know, I've had a few of those calls where it's just, it's so easy to talk to the person um, and actually I, uh, because it's a statewide cyber school, you know, I can have kids from Philadelphia or Harrisburg, but the one call I made the other day, um, they were from the Pittsburgh area. And I was like, Oh my gosh, like, this is awesome. Like I get to call somebody and talk to them locally. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's like, you know, Hey, like, how's your son or your daughter doing? Are they able to access everything? She, you know, everything's working out great, you know, but like, she just said, you know, thank you for taking the time to call and check because, you know, with with her being new or him being new, you know, it's a lot to take in if you're transitioning from your typical brick and mortar school to an online school. Yeah. So, um, you know, like I said, the conversation is just so easy, but like, you know, thanks for taking the time to call. Like, I really appreciate it. You know, you gave us a lot of, of uh, good information, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm like, at least I know I'm doing my job, even though like it's something that I have to do regularly yeah. you know sometimes i don't get to talk to anybody and i leave a voicemail um you know or they don't pick up and you know so it is it is nice to just be able to have that conversation and just know that like yes this is part of my job to call and to check on you but for you to take that extra like breath and say thank you yeah you know that means a lot to me and that like if you do have any questions later on like you know i would i would think that you'd be comfortable enough reaching out, calling, emailing, whatever, and, and, you know, not being afraid to, to ask me for that help. Right. You know, so, so essentially I, you, you build a, you build a connection, just, you just do. like you said, they, they feel more comfortable than if, if they have an issue that they know mm -hmm. you're there to help them. Yeah, so absolutely. Getting that little bit of feedback from somebody to know that, yes, what you were doing, like you said, you kind of have to do it, but at the same time, you know, that it's, it's helping. It's, yeah, it's, it's, sure. it's doing its desired effect, you know, it's doing its desired mm -hmm. effect and, and, yeah. and making sure that, that they're set on, on being ready and, and understanding mm -hmm. everything. Awesome. Yeah. And the same applies to the kids too. You know, once, 
we, we've had classes or whatever, if they have questions, you know, like I'm here, that's what I'm supposed to do. And like, if you're comfortable enough, because we've established that rapport or that, you know, connection that like, you're not afraid to ask for help or ask for advice or like, hey, I'm new. I don't know how to navigate the website. Right? I don't even know how to turn on my computer. <laughs> I don't think it goes quite that far, no. but you know. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's it's cool. I do. I, I enjoy it though. Good. Good. Glad you glad you're getting feedback. Glad you're getting people like that just taking the extra time to to say thank you and say, you know, yeah. what you did was helpful. So Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I got one more story, a kind of crazy one but was very inspiring in a way to me. So uh, at work the other day, uh, there was a older lady um, who works there. And she, I guess, came in from like lunchtime or something and was just not feeling well at all, like not doing well in any way, shape or form. And she ended up kind of just like struggling right inside the, the door as we came back in and not we, but as they come back in. And I guess she like kind of just called for help. And she's just like, I, I don't really don't feel well, somebody help. And two people right away, just jumped straight up out of their chairs, went straight for them. Um, I was a little bit further away. I didn't hear anything or know anything going on, but this, the one guy who's, he's closest to the door and he kind of just whipped around straight to her, you know, went yeah. straight to her. Uh, then another lady uh, who kind of heard what was going on, same thing, just kind of got up right away, said, you know, he, he might need help helping her or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they both go over and, and, and straight, straight away help her right away. Uh, mm -hmm. What makes this a little bit better is that obviously, again, with, with everything going on with COVID, it's kind of like, oh, you know, how close do I get to somebody sure. to help them and this and that. The, the lady who helped, let's just say, pretty fearful of 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 COVID of, really? of the pandemic. she's just, even from the very start like before anything was even shut down in like March and everything she was already like everybody kind of stay away you know keep keep distance when coming to my to my desk you know don't don't do anything near me and it's pretty fearful in, in a nice way just just sure. you know kind of true she was I, I'm uncertain you know uncertain yeah. about it keep keep distance I don't know what this is I don't know what's going yeah. on so throughout you know she's kind of just been the same way like any but anytime somebody approaches her desk she's like you know make sure you give me a warning so i make sure i have my mask on and everything sure. and i'm set for yeah. to to have somebody come yeah but anyway she she's one of the first ones there she was one of the first ones there That's first awesome. ones there didn't you know That's when awesome. and, she, and i asked her after she's like you know when somebody asks for help you just help you don't think about it you don't you think about it, it you know <laughs> After, after afterwards it was funny she's like i'm trying to like scrub my whole body down with, with good sanitizer and stuff but she, um but it's just, good for her though it was and and yeah. you know, and and the lady she she really did struggle she said you know and and she had trouble she's like um i don't know if she if she had some kind of condition or whatever something she ate maybe she got really really sick like oh, she so yeah. they were trying to carry her to the bathroom um and and i, I guess they didn't quite make it we'll say okay Let's, we'll just leave it at that didn't quite make okay. it to the bathroom uh and so the guy kind of was just like okay i'm gonna let you handle this now the lady oh. <laughs> he went he went up got the the bosses they called an ambulance mm -hmm. and everything oh. uh, she like she really wasn't she wasn't good at all um, yeah but so that she he went up called the called the ambulances but the lady she she took her to the bathroom you know got her in the bathroom uh you know sat her down in in the stall and you know there's a like a bar there whatever she could hold on she kept she kept going in and checking on her making sure you know so she's okay until the ambulance got there mm -hmm. but yeah the whole the whole story the whole moral was, was the lady just going out of her way out of her comfort yep. zone to just yep. instantly just jump up and help somebody that's awesome and and what actually i forgot to mention that the the sick lady didn't have her mask on Really? She, yeah, she either because I guess she either came in from outside, or just didn't get it on yet, or maybe just from being sick, she took being it off sick. just to yeah, just to try to get air or whatever. Yeah. So she mm. didn't have her mask on, and this lady still, she was you awesome. know, oh, decently. Yeah. I know, decently fearful of of COVID. Just again, sure. just jumped up, helped right away. Didn't even didn't even think have a second thought about Ooh. about helping somebody. <laughs> we're not a, we're not in spoilers. I know. Anymore. I know. I was trying to move it. <laughs> but sorry. No, you're good. But again, she just jumped off, jump up, no, no second thought and just helped her right away. 
That's so cool. It was, it was awesome. And I, so I went cool. up and talked to her after and she's like, well, she was, she was nervous about it first. She's like, do I need to like say anything? And go, she thought, I guess I, I was asking her to be on. And I was like, no, I just want to hear your story. And I can, yeah. I can talk about it, share it. How amazing, you know, what an yeah. amazing thing you did. Cause I know how, how fearful and how uncertain you are about the whole situation. Mm-hmm. And you just, you yeah. just didn't second thought. And she's like, yeah, so you know, when somebody thought you know, asked for help, you help them. Yeah. Great thing to say. Oh, that's fantastic. So and she's yeah. like, she, she goes, I hope somebody would do the same for me. That's, yeah. 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 I'm sure they would. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely amazing story. Just somebody asked for help. So you help cool. them. Yeah. So hundred percent. Yeah. I really wanted to share. That was a good, really good story. That was an awesome one. Personal. Yep. Very personal. Yeah. And just crazy, crazy. So that's fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. So again, hopefully we're, we're inspiring people to do the same. You know, be kind, be helpful, be caring, be bright and, and continue to share the stories. Like, like we said with this, the one it inspired her and she's now jumped on and, and trying to do the same for others and continue to spread, spread the kindness and the, and the brightness. So don't be afraid to share any little thing, any little thing, man. It's, it's goes a long way. It goes a long way. You can say it over and over, over until, until it finally sinks in and just, it's not being boasting it's not being mm. you know overly selfish or anything it's it's, it's being, being proud it's being kind it's being <laughs> proud of being kind it's just mm-hmm. you know there's nothing wrong yeah. with it so yeah. all right so that's about it um be sure to follow bright connections on social media we would appreciate it make sure you get you know updates and clips and more fun stuff so on instagram twitter and then obviously you can watch the, the episode on youtube and uh, so that's about it. Liz, thank you so much again for, for being on. I was, I'm, a, I'm a pro now. Episode You're a pro two, now. I'm a pro. In episode two, <laughs> that's right. I, I keep forgetting. You didn't. You had no idea what podcasts were or anything Nothing. before. Nope. So awesome. Good stuff. Nope. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Glad to talk with you. It's always so, fun. Yeah, it is. It is. So everyone have a wonderful and bright week. Make sure you go out and do something nice and have a fantastic, fantastic week. We'll catch you next time.